and we are live. I can see that I'm a bit washed out, so I probably don't have the camera exactly optimized yet. That's a pity, but hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. We certainly had some misadventures this weekend, didn't we? But I'll spell it in as well. I'm working with a impermanent jury-rigged solution to a lot of the computer problems. Uh, the main thing is that some of the fans aren't working. They are either not as securely attached as we would like, or they aren't working at all, and so I need to order in replacement parts for those. I've had to tweak some settings, reset some things, actually. I took the case apart yesterday, disassembled all the way down to the motherboard, found out exactly what was missing, where the pins weren't mounting properly, rebuilt everything from the ground up, so took some tweaking to get us back in action. Obviously, we aren't quite optimized yet, because like I said, the camera's washing me out a bit. Let's actually go ahead and see if we can tweak those settings just a little bit. Sounds like I'm using camera for the mic. Okay, just a second. Um... Output device is good. Show me the microphone. Well, the PC is using the microphone. What about Streamlabs, though? That's the question. There we go. That's the one, isn't it? We better? Good. Speakers I know are working. Camera's working. Everything should be good. Okay. Then we might need to play with levels again, because like I said, everything is kind of back to default, because I, I, I did, in fact, disassemble down the motherboard and rebuild. So, uh, yeah. And it's not completely fixed. You can probably tell by how washed out my face is. Let's see if we can reconfigure that just a little bit. No. That's not it. Ooh, ooh, there we go. <gasps> Yay! There we go. That fixed it. Good. Found the right setting. All right. All right, all right, all right. So, um, put the mic back down to, we'll tone down the mic about five decibels and we'll see if that works. Um, uh, well, I, <laughs> the, the honest answer is I knocked it over and it jolted some shit loose and it took me forever to figure out exactly what. But as it turns out, it was the CPU fan. So let's, I think our visual is good. Our sound is good. We'll check desktop audio in just a minute when I fire up the game. But I think we should be good now to start Lonesome Road. So let's jump in and get started with that. Hopefully, the, as I mentioned, the 
temporary jury rigged solution I have currently set up. will work for us. You guys aren't getting any you guys aren't getting any game audio, are you? Uh uh. I can tell. There we go. Up top, we got it. Hey Infinimora. Yeah I could no, I could tell you couldn't. OBS was OBS was telling me that the uh, files weren't working. Now we're all set. So let's travel to the divide. The coordinates you received lead you to this canyon filled with storm-tossed wreckage. Beyond lies the divide. Lonesome Road is intended for experienced couriers level 25 or higher. You cannot take companions with you on the road ahead, nor bring any you find out with you. You can carry whatever equipment and gear you have with you without restriction, however. If the journey proves too difficult or you need to resupply, you can retrace your steps and return to the Mojave at any time. If you are prepared, then continue on into the storms of the Divide. History awaits. Walk the Lonesome Road. We've arrived at the final DLC. You've discovered paths to Canyon Wreckage. Quest added to Silo. You can see we got quest completed. The reunion. There's the exit to the Mojave Wasteland. You can see I came in here with everything done except it's time to go to the Battle of Hoover Dam for the wild card. Silo. Navigate Hopeville Missile Silo to reach the Lonesome Road. Now, at this point, we have, uh, I'm, we're at the very end of the game. There's not really any point in hoarding, like, crafting supplies anymore, so I'm probably not going to bother. But, uh, I say that, I don't think I can, I don't think I can resist at least showing where everything is. So, right here at the entrance... Oh, there's a duffel bag up here on the ledge. And, um, there's actually a new food item. An MRE, a meal ready to eat. You can see it reduces hunger by 600 and gives us back some health as well. Not bad. You can see that storm effect up in the sky. It's somewhat ominous. Suitcase up here, take the pre-war money, leave everything else. Caravan crate. Some goodies in there. Let it all end. Kind of how I feel about the game at this point. <laughs> nails. And some steady. So we've got nails as ammunition. We have not seen that before. So, apparently, we will still be finding some new weapons in here. That's awesome, Carefree. I'm glad your new laptop's almost paid off. And we head up here, down the ledge, and we got another duffel bag. Yay. Yeah, 
then up on top of the pipe, yet another double bag. I strongly suspect I cannot. No. I cannot use the Transportal Ponder inside the DLC. Chris like PC games. Thank you for the follow, my friend. I really appreciate that. Welcome. Good to have you here. You've only played Fallout 76? Well, that's one of the two I haven't played. Three I haven't played. I haven't played 76 yet. I also have not played uh, Tactics or Brotherhood of Steel. In terms of the old ones, but there's a fourth duffel bag. I have played 1, 2, 3, 4, and New Vegas, though. How do you like Fallout 76? I've heard mixed reviews. I, I know a lot of people hated it, but lately I've been hearing from some people who liked it. Here's the Hopeville Missile Silo. We discovered that as a location. Let's go on in. Crime Ilver, hello. How are you, my friend? Good to have you on stream. Welcome, welcome. Right, here we are at the Hopeville... What's the exact name of our location? like Hopeville Silo Bunker Entrance, I think, or something like that. Yeah, Hopeville Silo Bunker Entrance. We've got our small divide map here. Ah, you're right, Lone Wonder, I did play Shelter. You can go home, courier. Lonesome Road. <laughs> Door opens in front of us, that's a little ominous. Whatever. You know what, I think I'm going to force myself to actually stick to my guns and only pick up shit I really need so we don't have to spend a bunch of time running in and out of this DLC. MREs are actually really good food items, though, so I am going to keep those with me. Dandy Boy apples, not so much. Squirrel on a stick. Whiskey, not so much. Wonder Glue. Clipboard, cherry bomb. I, I don't think there's a way to fill empty bottles in here, so I'm not going to bring those along. And I'm not going to bring along ammo for guns I'm not going to use either. I will bring extra 308 ammo, though. Alright, around we go. Reactor door requires key. Silo blast door controls of Programmer's Digest. This console controls access to the silo itself, but it is encrypted beyond your ability to hack. You will need to find something that can break the encryption in order to proceed. I lost. I think we're doing well. How are you, my friend? Good to have you here, as always. Right, so here we have a utility room that requires a key, but we have a terminal, maintenance access level 3, that is apparently unlocked. Welcome, user. Unlock maintenance access door. Maintenance door unlocked. Maintenance access status. Maintenance access unlocked. Maintenance access status log. Main power offline. Emergency power standby. Maintenance report. Level 1, non-operational. Security measures inactive. Level 2, non-operational. Security measures inactive. Level 3, non-operational. Security measures inactive. Okay. Pretty basic. Set in. Utility room. There's some new items in here. Activate commissary terminal. Let's deal with that in a minute. Let's look around first. Take caps, take pre war money, it doesn't weigh anything. Here's a new item. An arc welder. 
uses electron charge packs as ammo. Probably worth carrying this with me. Just because it's new. EMP bonus damage versus robots and power armor. Cool. And a breathing mask. What might that be? Rad resistance plus five, DT two. Easy locked ammo box. I'll bring those along just because they're new. Easy, but I'm not going to use them. Easy charge pack. Reactor. Busted, but there's a stim pack in there. And a duffel bag with another MRE, which I will take. They probably had hardcore mode in mind when they did all these uh, MREs. <coughs> Commissary terminal. <coughs> this terminal can only be unlocked by an iBot. Leave the terminal alone. What am I drinking today? Um, I had a New Belgium Honey Orange Triple Beer with dinner, and now I'm just eating Fresca. Alright, I guess we'll leave the terminal alone. As I mentioned, um, trying to settle the drinking down a little bit, get to somewhat healthier habits, and doesn't mean teetotaling, doesn't mean never ever getting drunk again, but so today marked uh, having a beer with dinner with Tiffany, see how that went, and turns out it went well. Examine poster. Feel like a kid again. Find all of the Ralphie the Robot posters in the Divide. Ralphie, the robot's incredible odyssey. Looks a lot like Eddie, doesn't it? Maintenance bot control. How's the PC doing? Um, it's a little jury-rigged right now. Uh, the case fan isn't working, and the CPU fan is not securely mounted. So I've got it working, but I need to order new parts. So I'm... Um, putting an order in for a case fan, and the CPU fan itself actually works just fine, but it's, uh, there's a need to get new pins, which thankfully I can individually order, so I'm going to do that and just replace the actual mounting pins, and then remount it to the motherboard. Alright, commissary reminder. Attention all base personnel. This is just a reminder that all base commissary terminals draw from the same central depository. Please do not waste your time or the technicians by running from commissary to commissary. You won't get any more whiskey than you did from the first one. SSGT Lansky. Commissary notice. Attention all base personnel. The automated commissary system has been locked down until further notice. It turns out that the counterfeit proof pay chits we've been issuing to you are exactly the same size and shape as ordinary bottle caps. Until we can correct the problem, you'll have to make your purchases the old-fashioned way. SSGT Landscape. Maintenance Department Log. Okay, we saw that already. Bot Pod Status. Bot Pod Lock. Unlock Prototype Bot Pod. Prototype Bot Pod Unlocked. Oh, it's Eddie! But is it? No. Different. What was that sound you played? Some kind of memory glitch? No, it wasn't your boot-up sequence, it was a recording. Something about someone called Ralphie. Science 35. Probably just some old data floating around in your memory. Nothing to worry about. I think I could use your help getting out of here. Can you come with me? Eddie is giving you the enhanced sensors perk. Com optional. Have Eddie access the commissary for you. Experiment log 369248-B. iBot DuraFrame Universal Interface Override System. This is Dr. Whitley presiding. 
We've boosted signal gain and enlarged the overflow buffer system. That should ensure 100% connectivity and control. Eddie, whenever you're ready. Yes, success. <clears throat> um, reporting full success on 369248-B. Eddie was able to interface with and override the test panel in under three seconds. Great job, team. Now let's start on the proposal for the full rollout. That's a recording from your development. Are you saying you can override electronic security? Only panels with a dish-shaped receiver? The console in the main room had one of those, I think. Was that the voice of your creator? What happened to him? Well, I'm sure he's... Maybe you'll see him again someday. Well, I'm sure he's fine wherever he is. Alright, let's keep moving. Alright, let's talk to him again. So we can access a few other functions. Repair 25. That's an impressive multi-tool suite you've got. I bet I could make all sorts of stuff with that. Guttons 25. Hey, is that an Armco portable reloading bench built into you? That'll be handy. Alright. Off we go. Sneaky peeping. Alright, that's funny. Alright, let's take him to the commissary. Have Eddie unlock the terminal for you. Eddie has unlocked the commissary for you. Access universal repair interface. Check it out, we can repair all of our gear, which is pretty great. Access commissary. We can buy 308 ammo. There's 6,000 caps here. By 50 MG, but I didn't bring my anti mat rifle. Didn't seem necessary. Riot gear. Riot gear helmet. These are. Red glare must be a weapon we don't have yet. As you can see, we got mods for it Far Sighting, Auto Launcher, and Alpha Strike. Fires rockets, apparently. SMMG. We got mods for that, too. U.S. Army combat armor. Versus guns and survival, among other things. Probably not a bad idea to go ahead and spend caps. on these weapon mods. Alexander, um, no, the stream did not get interrupted again today. Not too As far as I know, it's been running smoothly from the get-go. Rocket's Red Glare acquired all upgrades for the Divide's signature weapon. That'll be fun. Oh, there was an achievement, too. Rocket's Red Glare. There we go. If I want all the achievements, I'm going to have to change up my weapons a little bit, so maybe I should get some of these Electron Charge Packs and just use the arc welder for a while for giggles. It is an energy weapon, right? Oh, yes. Alright. So Eddie should do this for me. Have Eddie unlock the terminal for you. Alexander, you really haven't missed much. We, just, we found an eddy look alike inside the missile silo. That's really about it. 
Turn the silo's power back on. The other iBots in there. A 20 minute piece of a New Vegas stream? Are you sure? iBot. iBot upgrade circuit board. Interesting. You found a module on this broken iBot that can upgrade Eddie. Installing this module grants you the first rank of the camaraderie perk, allowing Eddie to repair your currently equipped, currently equipped weapon once per day. This perk is accessed through Eddie's dialogue. If you find more upgrade modules, you can unlock further ranks of this perk. When you return to the Mojave, these upgrades will carry over to the original Eddie as well. Neat! Eddie-cated. Find all of Eddie's upgrades in the Divide. Neat! Repair my arc welder. Since I want to use it to do some energy weapons damage. Hydraulics access level three. Easy lock. Let's get that door open. Banshee. Here we go. Um, hydraulics access status. Locked. Unlock it. All right. Got some more electron charge packs. Stuff I don't really care about. H and H Tools Nail Gun. Yeah, that's another new weapon. I'll tote that. Not gonna bother with nails though. Auto inject stim pack. Not gonna bother with that. Now let's head through into the main silo. Here we go. Eddie's afraid. What's he afraid? Got an easy lock desk here. Hopeville silo second level security code. level. Can I get back? If I do that, that's the real question. There is another toolbox here. Doesn't appear to matter too much. Very easy locked metal box. Take like water. I'll take the super stim too. Doesn't weigh anything after all. Alright. Oh, there was a. Yeah, there is. There's a Dean's Electronics here. I'm actually not going to bother carrying it because it repairs at 100 and it has weight, but it's there. Hard locked ammo box. Check that one out. Four EC packs. 
let us use the arc welder. See? Easy lock the box. Jet. Water. Another stem. Before I advance too far, I'm gonna get anything out of here that doesn't weigh anything. I guess that has good value. back at the commissary. Then we'll roll up to higher levels of the silo. I did miss one other important thing in here. Sorry for the backtracking. I'm gonna grab the Nuka-Cola quartz. I think I will grab the Dean's electronics too. Because I know there are more, um, gosh, commissaries. That's definitely gonna be worth selling. Okay. Enough of that. Up to level two. Dr. Grant? What the hell do you think you're doing? Ah, oh, Whitley. There you are. Orders from Colonel Autumn. He feels the iBot Duraframe project isn't advancing quickly enough. I'm too... You didn't even disengage his damage avoidance protocols. You're hurting him! Don't be ridiculous. It's just a machine. See here, I've already increased the navigation system's efficiency by 65%. Get the hell out of here! Fine, Whitley. It's your lab. <laughs> At least until I tell the Colonel about this. Sounds like Dr. Whitley really cared about you. Ralphie who? You're still not making sense, Eddie. <laughs> Dr. Grant sounds like a war crime waiting to happen. You don't have to tell me, I would have beat the crap out of her. Wow, do you kiss your mother with that mouth? <laughs> That's a terrible story, Eddie, but we should get moving. Whatever trash can, I really don't give a shit about your problems. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Up to level two. And we're going to start facing our first opposition, so be ready for that. Fix it steady. Security control, level two. Deactivate second level robot security. Second level security log. Level one, security measures inactive, perimeter breach contained. Level 2, security measures active, operations area secured. Level 3, security measures inactive, system failure, please contact technical support. Deactivate second level robot security. Robot security deactivated. Eh, just kidding. desk.
Hopeville Silo, first level security code. And a couple of Nuka Colas as well as another quartz. I have not yet encountered any enemies in the Divide War, Ellis. That sentry bot would have been the first, but we were able to just deactivate it. Stairs. Storage. Easy lock tool cabinet. Take that just to repair my other one. Rocket. I get the feeling I'm actually going to end up using those, so. Search dead marked man. CR money. Cabinet. Marked Men Ravager. Interesting stuff. Silo again. Appears to be radiated. Turret security terminal. This terminal is damaged. You may be able to fix it. 50 repair. What would you like to do? Repair the terminal. Mark 6 turret. First level turret security status. Turret security active. Hack security turrets. Security turrets compromised. Ah, interesting. Oh, it's in a fight with the sentry bot. Nice. They were able to whoop the sentry bot. Get on them. Banking on running into another commissary and selling off a bunch of this stuff. Reasonably sure I will. It looks like the turrets are staying friendly to me, which is cool. Head through the security room first. You can see more sentry bots back there. General Martin Retzlaff. U.S. Army General Outfit. I'm pretty sure that's a unique item. I'm going to take that for sure. Base Commander's Desk. Silo Network Security Codes. Ammo and money. Note added. Silo network security codes. And at Man 11, Constantine Launch Protocol 1077 Security Clearance Alpha, EAM Clearance G5SS18USAF DEFCON Exec Bagman, off code zeros. 
Response scenario MXCN91 ICBM response nuclear base command eyes only. Base commander's terminal. Welcome, Commander. Deactivate personal sentry systems. Open personal sentry doors. Personal sentry security status. Problems ain't no problem. Plasma rifle. Yeah, I'll want to sell that too. Plasma mines. Pulse grenades. Yeah, good stuff. All right. I saw a door over here titled Main Entrance. Bowie knife. Ooh, there's one of those. Back in this other room. I'll go ahead and grab because it wasn't really paying attention, but that's a new weapon. Bonus critical damage. Neat. There's an arc welder. Can repair my current one. Couple of sarsaparillas. Another Bowie knife. Drink those sarsaparillas. Don't think I need any more of that. Thing. Oh, Oakville Silo mainframe controls. Ask Eddie to unlock the mainframe. Come on, buddy. Do it. Eddie has used the security codes to unlock the mainframe. Activate the mainframe to unlock the silo's exterior doors. Open the silo's bunker doors. Unlock the silo's exterior doors. Here we go. Sentry box. And marked men, too. over there. Average locked box. Let 
me see how I'm doing on that energy weapon damage achievement. Uh, it doesn't give me a progress report there. Bad I can get one here, though. Blastmaster. Let's kill enemies. Oh, these are kill challenges. Damage challenges. Blaster Master. There we go. Little under 2,000 more damage, and we'll get that one. Hi, Petey. Not too much. Sentry Security Access Level 1. Security Access unlocked. Military Shipping Crate. into the actual divide, I think. You can go home, courier. I started actually playing about 20 minutes ago. We just kind of navigated through that first dungeon, the missile silo. Found a robot buddy. Don't really know any, uh... There's your signal. Faint, but there. Just like NCR. Voice without fire, without strength. Sick. Her tales of you walking the Mojave, giving the two-headed bear strength, giving hollow men like Kimball, like Crocker, half the life Hanlon had. Now, let's test that strength, that conviction, courier. You have a lot of hate for NCR. That kind of hate isn't new in the Mojave. No, not new. And none knew among all those in the shadow of the bear. You know their flag. A bear with two heads. Symbols an old world one. Had one head then. Better off for it. Their flag speaks to their spirit. They're split like any two-headed animal. Trying to go in different directions. Ending up nowhere. In a Mojave. That'll only get you sand between your fingers, or over your grave. Maybe you better tell me who you are and what you want. I'm a courier. Courier 6 was Courier 6. Like you, and not like you. In all the ways that matter. Spent too many years looking for you. Now letting you come to me. Thought carrying that ship would end you. No. You got lives in you. Hard to kill. Storms, bullets, sand and wind. Yet still you walk. For now. So you're the one who sent the radio message, Ulysses. Perception, though. We've never spoken before. I'd remember your voice. Words are the only way couriers meet. Sometimes, it's the paths we walk, but no, we've never spoken before now. You may not know my voice, but we've walked the same places, the long 15 to Prim. That wasn't the only road you ever walked. I've been to your home, the place you kept returning to. May not be the place you were born, it was the place you gave life to. Same thing. People forget. Couriers can keep communities alive until the day they're gone and their breath catches in their throat. Uncovered all six references to the past of Courier 6. Your past. It's one out of six. 
So you're the one who sent the radio message, Ulysses. Not my given name. Close enough. Took it from history. Found it in a book. It's an old world name. Ulysses lived a long time ago. Long before the old world set fire to itself. He made a mark without being myth. Had to fight during a time when his world had two flags. And he had to make them one. Intelligence 7. Ulysses, not the myth. You're honoring history, not stories. History. Yes. Ulysses walked a hard road. A general, like Caesar and Oliver. He was brown and stubborn. Gave him strength on the battlefield. He led his side to victory. Turned two flags into one. That's when he lost. When the fighting was done, the sickness took hold. Lesson there. If history is to be believed, one you should heed. Speech 75. You brought me here to talk. If you wanted to kill me, you'd have waited until I came for the chip. No. No, I couldn't. And I'm thinking you can't kill me either. If you did, you'd answer for it. Just as I would. Let the lambs do the killing for you. That's one of the things you taught me. Killing is personal. So those vows, promises, last bits more important to me than the first. Wait, so you swore not to kill me? Why? What kind of world would this be if Courier killed Courier? You've got enough distance ahead of you. Save your breath for the road. Don't waste it on words. Survival 75. You chose Ulysses because of the two flags reference. Is that tied to the war in the Mojave? War. Call it that. Our part in it. Ulysses wasn't made for the flag he followed. He wasn't made for peace. That's the lesson. If you follow a symbol to the end, ask yourself what that means. More important, ask what happens after the end. No, the D this is the last DLC, but it's going to take more than one episode. I'm only doing one hour main episode, so... Forget your name. Back to the job you refused. Alright, Courier. If the why of it matters to you. You were supposed to carry the chip. Or, you were supposed to carry the chip? Meant to. No. Never. Your burden. Weigh you down long enough to let death catch up to you. But you survived. There was death in that package. And while the chip is important to old world ghosts, no. You are more dangerous than that chip ever could be. Maybe why you found each other. Little piece of the old world speaking to you. Waiting for you to wake something else up with it. So you refused to deliver the chip. What, to set me up to die? We all have death following us. Only a question of how close. You dodged it. For a time. You're good at that. Talent for it. With that chip weighing you down, a burden. Let's death move a little faster without me pulling the trigger. If you wanted me dead, why did you wait? Promises to keep to others. And the Mojave's dangerous enough left to the land. The land has its way. If I wanted you dead, we would have met sooner. Not sure that's the way this ends. Might be that history needs to have its say. If not, then messages will do. How are you speaking through Eddie? The robot with you. All of them are machines, radios, old world tech reshaped with new hands, historians, 
Couriers carry messages. Seen them as I've walked the divide, tending other machines. That one, sealed inside the Hopeville silo. Sign America is waking up. It will follow you, obey you, carry it until we are face to face. Then there'll be no more need for it to carry my words. What is this place? The divide. This place is a slice of it. Old military. Can still smell the pride and the fear. Hope of the old world, wrapped in fencing, covered in storm. Got new inhabitants now, other than ghosts. More recent recruits. Science 50. Area looks like it was hit with earthquakes or underground detonations. America sleeps in the divide. Giants beneath the earth. You saw one locked in the silo beneath you. There's more. Only takes a few of them, locked below ground, to tear apart the earth and cast dust, sand, ash into the skies above. Hey, Garris, good to see you. You'll see the extent, the miles of it, soon enough. You need to see it. Walk it. For now, eyes alert. Watch the streets below. There's still life in the divide. Threats other than the storms and wind. New inhabitants. Inhabitants? It doesn't look like anyone's alive down there. These new inhabitants, not natives, most of them, came with duty, purpose, ready to kill each other. The divide was stronger. Left marks on them, too. Not bare. Not bull. Now, radiations marked them, made them equal in history's eyes. As vicious as the storms are, these shadows of Legion, of NCR, silhouettes of things to come. NCR. Those bodies in the silo were NCR soldiers. Some special forces. Might have been. Once. To the Divide they came. In the Divide, they rest. If you saw their corpses, you saw mercy. Got what they deserved, coming to the Divide. The Bear and Bull, NCR Legion, came in waves before and after, right into the invisible fires. The wind ground, collapsing beneath them. Once under different flags, now they are equal in their hatred of the trespassers. You and I. I've never seen corpses mutilated like that. Even as the fires here burned them from within, the winds of the divide tore their skin, exposed them, screaming to the sky. And just as the divide tears at them, so they tear at each other for sport like some tribal scarification. Falling back to their history, maybe. No matter what they suffer, the radiation, fire of the divide, sustains them, makes them stronger. Survival 35. Radiation may keep them alive in areas so physically punishing it would kill others, even ghouls. There's truth in your words. In what I've seen of their tactics, movements, recovery, those wounds, they couldn't live otherwise. The divide winds have torn the skin from many of them. Maybe the radiation is the only thing keeping them walking. They camp near silos, warheads, no way to cleanse the radiation. Makes them hard to kill there, have to draw them out. Enough talking. You went to a lot of trouble to lure me here, so let's get on with this. America sleeps ahead of you. It's nightmares filled with quakes, storms. You'll need to find your own path. That means waking America's spears up from their slumber. There's ways. Warheads set off collapse. Warheads could open the gates again. You are resourceful. That machine, robot with you, 
can help you find the warheads you need to destroy. And their trigger, the detonator. The way ahead is below. The tools are there. The rest, up to you. Speech 55. If we share history, then before going forward, I want to know the past. Who are you who do not know your history? You came all this way for answers. Only currency I have. Nothing else to be gained. Could turn around, walk away at any time. If history matters to you, you'll need to earn it. Any laws of mine, I have already cast away in the divide. They're lost to you. For now, find the trigger for the warheads buried in Hopeville. Use it to keep moving and keep alive. Fine, I'll find this trigger, then I'll come find you. The Divide will send its worst against you. It may break you. We'll see if you're stronger. Road gets rougher from here, courier. Left marks for you. Colors will tell the way if you're smart. They'll lead you to your home one more time. Lead to the ending of it. Maybe remind you why you wander. There we go. Quest completed, the silo. America's bright future in your hands. Quest added, the job. There's the door to the silo. Find the laser detonator. All right. Now well, let's head down the hill. That was interesting. For sure. You can see the radiation kicking up too. Bounce over here. See this uh, dumpster. Nothing in there I actually need. And we got a little house right here. Wondering where the rads are coming from. There's a nuclear warhead here. This is an intact nuclear warhead. If what Ulysses said is true, the laser detonator in Hopeville should be able to trigger these to explode. All right, exciting stuff. I need to end soon. I just want to do our first uh, actual fight with some marked men, just so you can see how those go. Head up here to the gas station. Just note that in here, along with a stem and some s couple of stems and some scrap metal. Ooh, floor safe hiding in back. Pop that open. And I guess note the workbench there. Well, let's head over here to the northeast. Only one way we can really actually go. We have discovered Hopeville Missile Base West Entrance. So yeah, as you can see, suddenly the game is going to be a challenge again. <laughs> These marked men are not terribly easy to deal with. Oh, there was a poster in the gas station? Thanks for the heads up.
Hi, Steven. Good to see you, my friend. You're coming in right as I'm a intending to end the stream, unfortunately, but it is good to see you. Welcome. Um... Looks like it doesn't want to load for me, though. I think it's what kicked us off in the problems last time. <laughs> Maybe that's a sign. Oh, nope, there we go. Suddenly it worked. Excellent. Hopeville Missile Base Headquarters. Marked Men Hunter. Let's wreck this one with our arc welder. He's got armor-piercing ammo. No wonder he was doing so fucking much damage to me. Here's a mark for the scout. No matter, it's all good. Magnum 12 gauge ammo, so yeah. So these guys all have armor piercing ammo, which is why they're whooping our asses so hard. Just tearing through us like it's no problem. But it doesn't matter much. Killed them, thankfully. Alright, now, for Lone Wonder, let's backtrack back to the gas station because there was a poster in there. Thank you for the heads up on that, my friend. I appreciate it. Boop! How am I doing on that damage challenge? Because turns out this might not be the best time to be trying to do it, but... <laughs> There we go. 8774, so a little over. Those two covered another 500 damage. I'll be able to do it, I think. Not gonna be easy, though. We're definitely gonna need some healing. The four. We actually go into this building. No, I'm not planning to offload. I'm carrying things that I should be able to sell off at the commissaries, but I do not want to exit the DLC and come back. That seems like too much at this point. Alright, we have been going a little over an hour, so I think it is time to end this. Let me do a perimeter check on this building before I give up for good. Well, not give up. We're exploring this building. That's my next target. But... Let's see. I forget, I have enhanced sensors with Eddie in the party, so... Red hash marks are not necessarily even close to me. Average locked personal footlocker. Yeah, I mean, we're at the very end. As soon as we finish this expansion, the game is over. So, huh, there's really no point in porting stuff out of the expansion for a future that's not going to exist. Booster number three. Fresh box. 
Okay, here is the entrance to the Missile Base Headquarters, where we will pick up in our second Lonesome Road episode on Thursday evening. Until then, this has been Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. For those of you who joined me live on Twitch, thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed what you saw and you're new, I hope you will hit that follow button so that you can see every time I go live in the future. If you're watching later on on YouTube, at first, if you like the content, please like the video. It helps me out a lot. Boosts viewers, boosts me in the search results, all that good stuff. Secondarily, um, I realize that it can be hard to catch streams live, scheduling conflicts, what have you. But if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, all of my content eventually makes its way over there. So if you subscribe, you don't need to worry about missing anything. Finally, regardless of the platform you're on, I hope you will consider joining our Discord server. The link to do so is in the Twitch channel description. It's also in the YouTube video description. The Discord is where I make official channel announcements. It's where there is a fun and growing community of people who love video games just like you and me. And it's... Uh, <laughs> I screwed up my usual order. And it's where we discuss the games you'd like to see me play. Uh, next stream will be Thursday evening. It'll be more Lonesome Road. Hope to see you all for that. Take care, and have a great week.